Hi, how are you doing? I'm going to turn up the volume on this so I can actually hear myself. How's everyone doing? Uh, I don't know why I've done this to myself. I just thought you'd not turn it yet. But this week I am playing... I am playing two spooky... Spooky games. There we go, that's better. Hello, hi. Yes, today I am playing Prognostic, which is a detective supernatural game that has really good reviews on Steam, but isn't really well known at all, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and because neither Ian nor Aoife are here, I've decided just to lean into the witchery that I want to bring to the channel, so that's what I'm going to do. Hello. Um, hope all of you enjoy my great hair. Uh, surprisingly not turned that colour by Ian, but you never know. Well, now we know. This is good. Oh yeah, I'm just jumping straight in. I'm just going for it. I will turn up this volume a little bit as well. Can't actually hear anything at the moment. Hello month is early, Angel. It really I is. I heard how my parents died. My brother and I were sitting in a locked bedroom and could only listen. Uh-oh. We heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped. The police decided that our parents we're accidentally oh, just going straight in with the trauma I see. Excellent. I believed it. In our neighborhood, no one had any money. Especially hearing your parents like getting us. stabbed. After a month in the orphanage, yes, we were Gaff, picked up kind by of the only remaining ball, relative so in the States. Blonde a little bit. A woman named Randolph. A medium. Our grandmother. Oh, good. Rosie's. Our mom never talked about her. Go on, her, off you go. go and on, hid Rosie. away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that I'm sorry, but is that woman us. with the mask... Us. I still remember rituals. Is that the person who's adopted you? <laughs> constant promises to reveal what happened to A little to bit ominous. But later. It was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother hey, before, Cap. did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I hmm. sighed with relief. Finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Grandmother was killed. Stabbed with a knife. Another stab. Oh, yeah, there's look, there's the knife right there. Wow. If they got a photograph of the killer, does that not mean they caught them? And they are not alone. I'm being really frivolous and... Eating itself. What's the word? Death Disregarding people, now. Friends. Because I know I'm going to be screaming a lot. can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what Grandmother was and her skull. She tried to tell us. And I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. That's what we're going to be doing. Us. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her I house. I have to go back to the place where not one but two massive traumas happened to me. Good job I've got therapy after this because I can just talk about this game. Okay, so the way this works is that we're a detective of sorts and we have to use... Ooh, we have to use um like tarot cards and dowsing rods and stuff to try and find clues about different cases so it looks freaking sick luke i saw your message uh you've seen a youtuber called insim play this when it's development and it's really good see so this has very positive reviews on steam out of maybe like 230 ish but everyone in the reviews in steam says that it's really underrated they're surprised more people don't know of it and it's been on my wish list forever um so i thought i would just give it a go i mean because look look at this skull Whitproot is in the bedroom. Skull, candle, sigils. It's just completely up my alley. Completely. Exactly, Nightcat. He could just go to the Lake District. Right, go to the table and take the documents. Here we go. Your brother is a police officer who needs your help. Sorry, don't get me started. Every day he will send you a new crime case. Your goal is to solve it. You can use divination rituals to uncover new clues. Isn't my brother the policeman? Should he not be doing this? Fucking policeman once you find the culprit fill out the report and send it to your brother solve the test case to convince your brother to accept your help okay we can do that uh so here is our case file oh my god are these all children that have died jesus okay right uh let's go back right why did you come back we've been watching this old woman go crazy all through our childhood and now you want to take her oh this is from my brother for a place. What are you doing? Well, fine. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an invocation to the souls of the dead and tell me, oh great seer, oh yeah, he's definitely your brother, which of the neighbourhood kids broke my window? I'll send you a description of them, just like the ones the old woman worked with. If you can find out who did it, then we'll talk. 
one of them committed this terrible crime, I hope that's sarcasm, a couple of years ago on December the 14th at 1 o'clock in 1902. I live on the first floor in an apartment at 2 Meadow Street and don't even think about deceiving me. I know who did it, I just want to test you out. Okay, so we have to submit the culprit dossier to describe, decide which one did it and send a clue about his location at the 14th of December at 1 o'clock during the crime. Okay. Uh, all the creepy stuff has started already. Fantastic. Purple Doom, exactly. He is outsourcing police work. I'm a contractor. Contractor? Next time we find the ritual candle. I'm so glad we've chosen to do the rituals in this house. With uh, cockroaches climbing up and down the walls. I think this was a great decision. A little dress unless you want to do a quick scene change. Some terrifying art. Um, this doesn't worry me at all, by the way. This is... Because I can't have like a security room with a code access door, I just thought I'd like board up a door rather than using anything high tech. Um, yeah, I, there's nothing to worry about there. Uh, we have are these bones hanging from the ceiling. Some bones. Uh, a shirt in the same material as the dress. Quite dark, I can't really see anything. Uh, don't worry about that, I'm just doing some redecorating. Uh, we have this. And this. Oh my god, am I procrastinating a little bit? Yes, it's the intro one. Oh, and something really dark in here. I know it's... Do you need me to turn the brightness up, by the way? Is it very, very dark? Bone! Oh my god, I haven't done that in ages. Bone! Yeah, tell me if I need to turn the brightness up, because it's like just about fine for me, but it might be a bit too dark for you. Okay. Other divinations can only work while the ritual candle is lit. Light a candle by using instructions from the book. Hold down the right mouse button to take a closer look. Okay, that looks like incense. Oh, no, don't like that. Okay, we'll turn that on. Here we go. So these are our instructions. Uh, Whisper of the Candle, The Path to the Unknown by Ariadne Hall Publishing. That's uh, the spider myth and Greek myth. Um, it's perfect. Excellent, thank you everyone. Um, instructions on how to establish and maintain contact with otherworldly allies. I just felt a breath on my arm and Toto's not there, but it's fine. They will help you answer your questions. Candle is necessary for each ritual. Any fortune telling is questions and answers, and the answers can be obtained. Yes, I just threw my phone away because it's vibrating and I'm not having that. Uh, only when there is one who can give you an answer. You cannot imagine what exactly had to be done to prepare this ritual. All you have to do is light a candle. Yeah, okay, freeloader. The candle is a conductor. It provides contact to the spirit world. As soon as the contact is established, the light of the candles will change to blue. As soon as the candle goes out, connection will be interrupted. Mike Wheel is walking behind me right now and distracting me. Hi, mate. Hi. And rituals will become impossible. At this moment, all candles will change their light from blue to yellow. Okay, right. So when it's blue, we're talking to the spirits, basically. You can find spare candles next to the candlestick. Okay, right. Spare candles... Are these candles? Oh! Okay. I did light it. It's lit. Oh, this one! Oh, okay. There we go. And... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, sorry, which spirit are we talk? Which spirit knows of someone who broke... Um, broke a flipping window? Who? Is one of them dead? Did our brother kill the one who broke the window? I don't know. Um, oh, Thomas, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Zoe. Hope you're well and recovered after EGX. Looking forward to the Hallow streams. Any hints to what you'll be doing? Um, Ian is currently on holiday this week, so we haven't had proper talks about it, but probably some phasmophobia, because we haven't played that in quite a long time, and I'm going to dip my toes back into it this week. Is that just a... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No solid decisions yet. Uh... Callisto might be out by then? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Find a room with a wall map. It has a symbol of a compass. Okay. Oh, and we can see our lighter there. It's blue, which means we're talking to the spirits. I guess this is a compass over here then. Yep. Here we go. Ooh! Oh, this is very detective-y, isn't it? This is very detective-y, and that's very... um. Thingamajig, what's it called? Fuck. Amnesia, that's it. Oh, my brain is not 
all thereafter, e.g. you need to be patient with me. Okay. In order to find a person, do the following. Make sure the ritual candle is lit. Tick. Put the person's dossier next to the map. Choose the time on the calendar. Hour, month, day, year. Cool. That's the fucking American way. God damn it. Hover divining rods over the map. The closer the rods, the closer the person. The rods will cross in the place the person was. The rods will spin if the rat can place the flag on the right address and I'll just add a clue. Okay. Uh, I read all through that really quickly and I don't think that's bad at all. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to have to read that again because I got it on the first try, so it should be okay. Okay, press Q to pull out the dowsing rods. Here they are. Ooh. Oh my god, look at them go. Oh, sick runes. This says, uh, lorry. Uh, ip. Some sit O E M That's Ip. I can't read the other ones. Anyway, um let me have a look. File of one of the suspects on the stand. Right. So we have Patrick Willis, a good diligent boy who fell in with bad company. We have Zachary Morris. Lives in a workhouse nearby, quiet and sullen, can relate. Harrison Hawkins, the son of a single mother. He doesn't go to school, and during the day he works as a janitor in a bar. He's 14 years old! Oh, okay, I appreciate a desire to help his mother, but this is not the place where I require to grow up. A child. Uh, I didn't finish reading all of them, Zoe. The son of the owner of a hairdressing salon, a very quarrelsome kid. And Jake Paulson, a very active boy. I bet it's him. Constantly running around somewhere and doing something. It's definitely him who threw the rock. 100%. Uh, Dragon Botherer. I've actually... I'm halfway through the excavation of Hov's Barrow. And I did want to stream it. But it's very dialogue heavy. So... It would be a lot of talking out loud. I'm not sure if you'd be into that. But just let me know if you would. Because I really like Hov's Barrow so far. It's fucking great. I'm about halfway through. Right. Let's put Patrick here. Ooh. Frick. Press tab to find out the time of the crime for the case. Okay, so the crime was at 1 o'clock on the 14th of December. Uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. What the fuck was that? Is that a rat? I keep thinking this is like a ghost face. Don't like that. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna mind our business. And we're gonna close some doors. Okay, it's still blue. Good. Uh it's twelve. Twelve. It was the fourteenth. 14th. Yes, it is, Mike. It is absolutely those little shits who were arsing around around the stage. Mentino 2. Uh, those of you who weren't at EGX won't know this, but I yelled at some kids at EGX, and it was the best thing I've done this year. It was very fun. But they were being dicks, so it's fine. I don't know why this is in 12. Oh, 12, because it's the 12th month. Okay. Oh, the light has gone out. Okay. Uh, so that's not right. I don't think it was him then. I think it was this guy. Uh, let's go and light the candle again. I can see that message in the bottom right-hand corner, by the way. It's because I've got my Steam Deck and I'm logged into that. Uh, but it's not going to stop me from playing the game, so suck it. Okay, let's put these away. We need this again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't care. Not paying attention to you. We go in here. Okay, cute. So now we have... Ooh. Dead! Where is he saying it is? Where was he? He was somewhere around here. Ooh, there we go. Bedford Road. First floor, an apartment at 2 Meadow Street. Ah, so Meadow Street is here. But he was nowhere near, so it's not him. Okay, what about Andrew May? 
Oh, no, he was not. Oh, what's this? Can I... Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Don't like that noise. He was. Oh, here. Okay, so we want him to be like around here. Harrison Hawkins. Oh, boy. How D. Okay, it was him then. No, I think it was... Yeah, it was definitely you. So, who's this? This is Harrison Hawkins. Harrison. Press all the buttons. Hawkins. Mr. Harrison Hawkins. Which one was he? He was... The son of a single mother. And he works in a bar. Okay. Right. Oh. Right. So it was... Harrison Hawkins. And I don't actually have the clue because I forgot that bit. So I'm going to go find it now. The clue is that my dowsing rods tell me he was right by the... Thing. There we go. Tab. What just happened when I tabbed? Oh, because he was there in that location. Okay. I got you. I got you. Let's put away my flippy rods. Excellent. Uh, what were the kids doing? They were, like, running around through the aisles of the EGX stage and, like, pushing each other over and stuff. They were, like, 12-year-old kids. Um, no, that's my dossier. Does that count as a clue? They were running around in the middle of the eject stage and then like one of them fell on the floor and it was friends, friends, so I was like jokingly kicking him and stuff. So I ran over and I told them to fuck off. Uh, and then the teacher came and told them off, which was very satisfying. Okay, I think we've got this. Because he was here, which is the same location as the window is broken. It's very judgmental. It is very judgmental. Um... Let's find out if we were right. Uh, we will be finishing Madison on the channel. Ah ha ha! We did get it right. Okay. Sick. Good for us. We will be finishing Madison probably during October at some point. But once again, Ian's on holiday this week. So I'm all on my own. And somehow I've decided to play Prognostic instead of playing a nice chill game. Okay. Uh, I was allowed to take part in the preparation for a major court hearing. On the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Fulton Farm, home for a closed and deeply religious family. As it turned out, they were too religious. Earlier in this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their own home. Yikes. As a sacrifice. All of the Fultons now cover the murderer, but only one of them made the sacrifice. I don't even know who's in the house. Try using the dowsing to find the murderer. Dossier... Send his or her distinctive feature by using the dowsing ritual on the victim and somewhere the killer was during the murder. They sacrificed a boy? Jesus Christ. Thank you, QB Gaming. My God. Um, <sighs> Sorry, I'm just reeling from the fact that they killed a young boy. Oh, Beth! Thank you for the super chat. So glad to catch the stream again. Looking great hair, Zoe. Love your hair. Thank you. It's silver. It's supposed to be much lighter than this, but um, the bleach didn't really take to my darker, to all of my hair, which is why it's a little bit darker, but it's fine. Okay. Age. <laughs> His age is dead. It doesn't apply because he's dead, which you're not, not wrong. Okay. I don't know much about Luke. I saw him a couple of times in the church. A calm and cheerful boy. It's a pity everything turned out this way. Yeah, it is. Does Luke get murdered in the Bible? Does he? I thought it was Isaac. Not Yeah, no? He or Ab Abraham? One of them always gets sacrificed. Anyway, Luke's father, awkward, absent-minded. Every part of his life is dictated by his parents. I've always felt sorry for him, but even compassion has its limits. Alicia. Attractive. Luke's mother, one of those people who can answer any question with a quote from scripture. One senior detective thinks that she's very sorry about what happened, but it seems to me that she's disappointed, not in their act, but in something else. Okay. Age is dead. It does sound like a band name. Uh, Annabelle. She's convinced that she's part of the world's first family of saints. How she came to this conclusion is not very clear. And Conrad. The patriarch of the family. He was the first who told us about the ceremony. He compared himself to Abraham! That's right. Church of England Primary School. Still remember some stuff. 
He said that they gave their greatest treasure to God. I noticed that he often averted his eyes during the interrogation. It looks like he's hiding something. Okay, so we not only need to find the location of where the murderer was, but also also where the like a clue. Okay. Dowsing allows you to find a feature of a killer. Find the room marked with the dowsing. Oh! Look, I unblocked the door, everyone. That was smart of me. Oh, I hate all the noises in this. Don't like the noises. Is this the... Oh, no, don't want that. This doesn't look like a dowsing rod room, does it? Oh, good! There are creepy, tw creepy twins, though. Creepy, creepy tins. Twin tins! Fucking hell. What the fuck is happening here? Where am I? There's like dowsing rods. Looks like D. Ooh, fuck off. Snow White, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Zoe, you're such an icon, lol. I started working at the local spa and have almost no patience for annoying kids, but will literally take any chance to pet any dog sitting outside. Dude, like, everyone who was there at the time will concur that I was well within my right to tell them to go and fuck off. Stop it. They were really, really bratty. Like, just, sh like, you didn't, okay, so you're rant, you didn't see this, but behind the scenes, they, there's like this back backstage area at Ejects where Loser and stuff and where our green room is. And they like somehow made it back there and were like sprinting down the corridors and, I'm telling a story, I'm telling a story. And they were like chanting toilets because they were trying to find the loos. But they were just like, there was like 20 of them just sprinting up and down the stairs while me, Ian and Wheels were trying to go downstairs. And I told them to get out the fucking way. So I swore at them twice and I'm very proud to swear at some kids twice. I think that's a fantastic achievement of mine. Where the fuck am I? I've been talking too much, unsurprisingly, and I've completely lost where I am. Okay, that is spooky. Spooky in here as well. Okay, so I know where that is. Oh, is that a teddy? Lovely. Bundy will have some company. Fantastic. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Right, place the victim's case on the stand. I'm gonna assume this is the victim. That says... Vem... Or Wem... Vem, Wem... Ka... Ka... Caddy? Okay. Luke can go here. Sorry, Luke. Right. Place the victim's dossier on the scan. Thank you, Dusclaw. This is Lady D. See? It's a great t shirts from Insert Coin. Put the victim's dossier in the sand. Walk around the house. Crossing of the wads indicates the direction towards the object. Find out on which object the rods intersect. Memorize the object. Find out the meaning of the item mark the killer's feature in the nearby list. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's Jimma! <sighs> Clothing. Painting. Books. Fireplace clocks. Bed. Murderer never made his bed. Blade. Toys. Candle. Okay. Okay. You want me to go this way? Oh. Oh. This way? Oh, you like this way, okay. Where do you want me to go? Oh, oh, is this the bed? No. Why did you go? Spirits? Okay, it's something in there, let's go have a look. Yeah, thank you. Very considerate. Close the doors off to me. Oh, fuck. The ritual thing's gone. God damn it. Okay. Right. I'm not close to the object because I've lost the thing. Stop it. There we go. I've not, because I've lost it. Where? 
it wants me to like go ah a clock it's a clock okay oh good I can run lovely let's go this way and then oh this was all blocked off for clock 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 I'm memorizing a clock Okay. Murderer is 30 years old or older. Age is 30 years older. So that gets rid of... Wasn't Nathan. Okay, so it was either Annabelle or Conrad. Yeah, Annabelle or Conrad. Okay. <laughs> What? What intruder? What intruder? Oh my god, what intruder? In here? Nope, 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 Okay, so there's a mirror in here. Oh, fuck off, dude! Dick. Okay, so it's a straight run from here to in here. Okay. Stop it! What do we like? What are we pointing at here? What are we pointing at? Something here. Yeah, I know the clock, but I need something more than that. Can you direct me to anything else or just the clock? I do not know where I'm going. Oh, no, that's the clock again. Okay, what else do I need to look out for? Uh, mark the killer's feature on the nearby list. So I just need to keep going. Stop it. I just want the rods to point at something else, but they seem to really, really... Did I get it wrong? Is that why they're getting pissy? Oh. Fuck off. Fuck off! What is that noise? Can you hear that? Oh, okay. Why do I hate myself? Literally, why? Why do I hate myself? Why do I hate myself? Why do I hate myself? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Is this the only thing? Is this what you want from me? Okay, yeah, so it's a clock. Is that because the jump scare didn't happen last time? Is that why that happened? And now you're going to direct me to something else? Please. Oh, fuck me. Ugh. Okay. <gasps> Shinga! Shinga! Shinga, Shinga! Shinga, Shinga! Don't, I don't know what any of these words mean. I just say things out loud. Okay. Well, I've ticked it off. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just... 
Let me just scroll up and have a look at this, some of these things because people do super chats. Okay, no genius. Thank you for the super chat. Well, it was really nice to meet you and Ian at EGX. Replaying Slay the Spire until Wild Frost comes out. Good. I'm glad to hear it. And it was lovely to meet you too. Uh, Charlotte. Hi, Zoe. Loving the hair and the fear singing. Not a fan of the creepy whispering. Have a great day and don't get got. Charlotte, my friend, it is too late. It is too late. Clocks. Murderers 30 years old or older. Yeah, and I ticked that off. <sighs> that was a great scream though, wasn't it? It was real good. It was just like... Mm! Night cat, is it? Oh shit. It's a great scream. I feel like I finessed it over the years. Um, and uh, there is a small child who lives below me, so I'm very glad that I'm going to be scarring them for life. I can hear like... Yeah, okay, I get it. Woo, that's me doing that, not the game. Okay, let's light this candle again. There we go. Let's chill out. Should we all just calm down? Should we all just calm down a little bit? Oh, fuck, no, that's not the right one. Oh, it's more of these. Is that sign of demonic things? It's like whispering in here. Can you hear that or is that the wind? Must have been the wind. Okay. Something is making noises around here. Stop it. Ma'am? I know! I've done the clock. Thank you, everyone. Charlotte, I'm great. It made you spill your drink. I'm great. It made you spill your drink. I'm great. I need something else to narrow this down. It just keeps taking me to the frickin' clock. Take me to something else. Oh god, my throat actually kinda hurt from that scream, Jesus Christ. Right. I have. It's definitely pointing to a clock. Oh, Sin. Thank you, Sin. You, yeah, you're right. I'm stupid. Okay. But I don't... I don't, because two people are over the age of 30. Oh, I'm not 30, Dan. <laughs> it was my 29th birthday yesterday. I'm... Fuck off! I'm 20 next year. Stop! I'm 20... 30 next year. I was 29 yesterday, but thank you very much. Okay. Let's go look at the date. Maybe that will help. Let's go this way. Dan, did I read your chat? I can't remember if I did. Uh, made it in time to say welcome to the 30s club, Zoe. How did you have your birthday? I did. I had a lot of sugar and wheels spoiled me massively. It was amazing. And I got a Kenwood mixer so I can now bake again. I'm very excited. January 8, 1904. January 8, 1904 at 11 o'clock. Okay. Uh one eight nineteen oh four. One eight nineteen oh four eleven o'clock. Okay, so if I put Oh shit. If I put you here, where were you? Where were you? Oh, okay, you were here. Okay. 
and you were killed. Oh, Mike, thank you for gifting some memberships. Everyone, please do say thank you in the chat uh, if Mike gives you membership. Thank you so much, Mike. Pow, pow, that deserves high fives. Uh, Mike, where did he die? On the outskirts of town. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh my god, is it Annabelle? Is it Annabelle? Let's just check Conrad. Where were you, Conrad? Oh, fuck. I clicked off and everything went weird. Where were you? You dead. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, it was Annabelle. It was Annabelle! It was Annabelle! It was Annabelle! It was Annabelle. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Piss off. Okay. Dossier. No. Wait, what? You can almost hear my brain working. So the, this is the killer's dossier. Aha! Right, okay, yeah. No, I'm smart. I'm smart, it's fine. Um, Davatron, thank you for the super chat. How fitting in a horror game that Inget, my 13th month as a member, I'm assuming that's a typo, keep up the good work and make sure you chill after the horror love from a gay. Ah, oh, thank you much. Thank you much, love from a bye. Thank you, everyone. You're all so patient with me. We did it, though. That's right. We did it. I'm so happy. It feels fucked up. It's kind of like the true grime genre. I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about the death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They're too similar and weird. Knife strikes... Oh, right. So if if different people stab different people, their um, stab marks should be different because of the different strengths and stuff. Knife stabs were aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards or downwards but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged. If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder. Who wished her death? I will try and find the last people she spoke to. <sighs> oh yeah, Star, Sand and Bone, please, please stay safe. Everyone who's potentially in the path of Hurricane Ian, please stay safe and careful and everything. Please preserve yourselves. But yes, is it really stormy around there? Star Sand Bone? Oh my god, that made me jump. Bone? Is it stormy? I usually love storms from office associated with genuine risk. Okay. Are you sure everything is alright, Star Sand Bone? I know that at night you're busy helping me and during the day you try to open new rooms in the house, but there's a limit to everything. Maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just a reaction to the lack of sleep. Do me a favour and go to rest as soon as you finish this case. Do me a favour and please rest, but, but only when you've done something that benefits me in some way, please. Thank you. How has it been 40 minutes already? This game is good. A local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of the church. This case wouldn't interest us uh, if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack in the exact same hour. Our brother is really a dick, isn't he? Um... Boo men. I will note it down, Archer. Thank you for the recommendation. Do you want to know about the co another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with our old woman, can't say grandmother, for the last several years. Autopsy has shown that they were poisoned an hour before their death. Find out who did it. Find the killer dossier. Mark where the killer was during the poisoning. It happened one hour before the murder. The perpetrator and the victims had to be in the same place. Send two of his features by using dowsing rod on two victims. Okay. A teacher in a public school. He died of a heart attack in front of his wife while they were attending church. Lovely. Headmistress of the school. She experienced coronary symptoms while she was in the shoemaker's shop. Shoemaker called for help, but by the time the medic arrived, Miss Barr had already died. 
OK, suspects. Tristan. In his homeland, Mr. Kinnock worked as a doctor. When he arrived here, he managed to get a job only as a school janitor. He started a family in our town. Tristan is a proud Irish person, so he often has problems with the locals. His son attended our local school in Mr. Kelly's class, but stopped due to personal differences with other kids. I think that this is the only part of the story that's worth taking a closer look at it. Maybe his kid was bullied or something? Oh, my cat's typing this. Thank you for the super chat. Didn't say anything, but thank you very much. Okay, Diana is Mr. Kelly's wife. So that's one of the teachers that was murdered. She works as a science teacher at the same school. She's a daughter of an apocoth... Oh, fuck. She's a daughter of an apothecary, so she may understand a thing or two about poisons. In addition, it was rumoured that her husband was having an affair with the headmistress, so Diana had not only the opportunity, but also the motive. Unfortunately, he's my neighbour. He was expelled from the local school, a great achievement considering who continues to study here. Oh, <laughs> shady. Mr. Byrne continued to hang out with his old friends. He bragged to them that he would punish those who kicked him out. Okay. Miss Parker is obsessed with her daughter's success, and that's all you need to know about her. She often quarrelled with Mr. Kelly, this guy, because he refused to raise her daughter's annual grade. The headmistress, Miss Barr, supported him on this. I know this doesn't look like motive for murder, but it could have been enough for Miss Parker. Okay. So, let's first try and find out some distinguishing features. Oh, fuck. Okay, just slap myself in the face with that. That's fine. Okay, so this is where we find out where they are, and down here is where we find out the other thing. Okay, so... Right, I'm just trying to get this from my head. Let's try and find out who did Aaron, because I think he was the first one. Okay. Where are you? you want me to go? You want me to go this way? Oh. Oh. Somewhere over here. Somewhere through here. I can hear someone trying to come through. Oh, here? Aha! Okay, green. Does that mean? It's definitely green, isn't it? Thank you. It's definitely green. Thank you. Closing the door behind me is very nice. Very kind of them. Okay, so the colour of that thing was green. Clothing, painting books, blah, 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 toys. Okay, so he has... No, he has green eyes, or they have green eyes. Are you trying to lead me to the same thing or to a different thing? <laughs> ah, fuck! Motherfucker! God damn it! Not when I'm about to walk through it! What? What's happening here? Are you trying to get me to go there again? You are, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Well, I know that already. Okay, so that's one feature we've got. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. So now, if I put the other victim there, will I get given a different one? Yes. Looks like I will. Okay, good. So is it one thing per victim? It's definitely around here somewhere. Thank you. It's nice them to close the doors after me. Oh. What are you trying to get me to look at? Something in here? Is it this? Ah oh, shit, one of the fucking mirrors is gone. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah! Okay. 
Okay, is something in here in the cupboard? Is it this? The clothes? What colour are they? Brown? They're not quite crossing over though. But the ends are lighting up. Okay, so brown. Whatever it is, it's brown. Clothes and brown. Clothes and brown. Clothes and brown. Clothes and... Fuck off! Not while I'm walking through it! My nose! I'm gonna smack my nose. Okay, clothes. Colour of clothes will tell you the colour of the hair. Hair colour. Green. Brown. Okay, green and brown. So it could be Kinnick, Tristan. Could be Diana. Okay, so it's either Kristen or Diana. Okay, uh, now let's take this away. Stop it! Stop it. Okay. I know the light candle's gone out. I'm going to do that at some point. I like how they have candles everywhere so you can really easily see whether the candle's gone out or not. Um, let's put Aaron here. Yeah, I know. And when he was murdered. Uh, January 28, 1 o'clock. January. Oh. 28. At 9 o'clock. In 1904. Okay, let's go light the candle again. Close this door so the ghost doesn't have to. This way. This way. Oof. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take a sip of water. <sighs> yeah, so you either find water or death, Santo. That's definitely how this works. If I go through here, then I can just check if the mirror's something. Okay, just gonna close this door. Right. No, that's not you. Uh, Tristan, where were you? You were. Oh. Okay, you were here. Here? You were oh in number seven. You okay? They were both in number seven. Where are you, Diana? Were you in number seven as well? No. You were. Stop squelching. And Tristan, where were you? Oh dear, looks like Mr. Tristan did it. Okay, Mr. Tristan. Mr. Tristan. Mr. Tristan. Mr. Tristan. Mr. Tristan, just so I don't forget. Tristan, his clue was he has green eyes, brown hair. And he was in the same place as them. What? What? Was he not there, but they were in the same place? Oh, it was an hour before, wasn't it? God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. Can we try that one again? Okay, right, so it was Diana. It was Diana. Diana. Okay, it's fine. Let's just speed run this. So, I know it was Diana. And now I just need to do the clue bits. Yeah, I know. Just shush. Hush. 
Uh, okay, first let's put you here. It was not at eight o'clock even. Uh, and eight on the twenty eighth. Was it the twenty eighth? At one o'clock. I assume this is twenty four hour. <laughs> okay, where were you? You were. Oh, who are you? Here. Okay. You were. Where were you? You were. Here. Wait, what? Hang on. No. No. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Where were you at 12 o'clock? Don't worry, everyone. You were here. Okay, right. And you were here as well. Okay. And you... Fuck, where were you? Okay, well then maybe it was Tristan. I just got the wrong time. You were here. Okay, you were there. And where were you, Mr. Tristan? Were you over here? <gasps> oh, so I did get it right. Motherfucker, I just got the location wrong. Wait, what? 12 o'clock, 28th January. 12 o'clock, 28th January, 1904. And they're in the same place. Okay, autopsy during the apparent hour before their death. Mark where the killer was during the poisoning. It won't happen one hour before the murder. Perpetrating the victims. Okay, so it's him. Good. Right. Now we just have to do the uh, bit that I already know the answer to. We. Okay. Okay, Tristan. You. Which one are you going to take me to? Tristan? I mean, I do know it's not the right one, though. Why is this trying to take me to? Oh. The candle? The rods are silent. What do you mean the rods are silent? Uh, okay. What? Stupid fucker! Okay, right. I didn't do Tristan. That's fine. I know why now. Okay. Uh, Tristan. Where were you? Where were you? Okay, so we've ascertained you were in the same place as these two. On At 12 o'clock. Santo! Welcome to lovely supporters! Pew! High five for you. I'm just keeping an eye on the computer because I'm scared. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have a clue. He was in the same place as both of them. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay, you know what? Fuck. God damn it. Girl. Right, Tristan. Are you gonna... Why are you red? You weren't red before. Oh shit, it's because the fucking thing is... God damn it! God damn it! Stop it! Stop it! Always trying to mess me up! Stop it! Pathetic. Okay. Well, these dowsing rods are great. They're fantastic. No, no one's hacked my Steam account. I'm, um... I'm on my uh, Steam Deck as well, which is why it is saying that.
Mage is dead. Okay, uh, you are freaking out. Why are you freaking out? Diana. God damn it, why? Why are you silent? Have I got something wrong? They did, they both died at one o'clock, but they were in different locations. But we've ascertained that at 12 o'clock, which is when they got poisoned, they were both in Nawa Road and Tristan was there as well. So surely it must be him. Oh, do I need to do the other ones? Okay, well look, I'm just gonna... Okay, fine. I'll go do the other ones. You happy now? Fuck off! What do you mean it needs a victim's dossier, Thomas? Has to be the victims there, not the killers. Uh, wait, what? Okay, hang on, look. It's post EGX and I'm a very sleepy, exhausted woman. Do you mean the... The victims dossier has to be here? Yes, you do! Oh, she's very smart. She's a smart lady. Smart lady, full of brain cells. Thank you, Thomas, and everyone else who was trying to tell me the what I was messing up on. Okay, let's go find this freaking stuff now. Okay. Green. Right, let's go do green again. Oh, sorry. Yes, I, I will just put the little thingies back on. What is happening? What is happening? You're not red, so it must be fine. Okay, eye colour, green. Next. Let's put thingamajig in here. Florence. Give me some more clues, Florence. Florence is going to take me to the wardrobe. Not the machine. It is good Hello Stream fodder. I don't... I'm probably not going to complete it. I have half an hour to finish it, and I don't think that's going to happen. Here we go. Open this. Boop, boop. And they have... Brown hair? Yeah, that's brown, right? It looks brown. Good. Closed. Then let's go here. The hair is brown. And green. What? No. What? Stop. Okay, it's definitely Tristan. It's definitely Tristan. Right? It is very puzzly, isn't it? I really like it, Nightcat. I don't like games that are just... I find it so much more interesting to play when horror games actually have a story behind them. Okay, the dossier. It was this guy because... Is that right? Ha ha ha! Yes! I still feel achievement, even though... Got me two times to get it. <clears throat> Mr. Kinnock told the investigator about how the school treated his son. Told her, the teachers did their best to make him quit the school. This Irish boy should know his place and other nonsense you'll hear in old families. Racist. It all ended with the teacher persuading other children to beat him up. Jesus Christ. It worked too well and now this boy will not be able to walk! Fucking hell. Mr. Kinnock says that his son's future was taken away from him and he couldn't bear it. I won't say that I condone his decision, but I understand him. Ditto. The connection with our old woman turned out to be a dead end. It turns out that she was in active correspondence not only with the headmistress, but with several professors throughout the country. They discussed some scientific issues. I'll study her letters and report the result later. Sick. Okay. Well done, us. There's some music playing, which I thought was in my flat, but nope, it's actually in the game. Okay. An old policeman asked us for help, and so naturally you then asked me for help. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he will tell us why. This interests me, so I decided to agree. The case itself is solved. Mr. Bones... 
A sailor dismissed from the Navy quarrelled with his new employer over money and killed him during a scuffle. He threw the body into the basement of some abandoned house. Bones's confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night and Bones was drunk, so he has absolutely no memory in which cellar the body lies. The relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for a burial, determine the hour of death and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. If you succeed, this cop will tell us something new about our old woman. Determine the location of the victim at the hour of death and determine the location of the suspect at the hour of death. Okay. He, we just know he died in 1904. Mr. Sharp was the owner of a small bookstore on Bar Barnhill Street. Recently, he decided to expand and hire a young assistant named Colin Bones. When his claims they often argue, especially recently. Colin Bones. Colin Bones is a former sailor. Bones met Mr. Sharp while serving in the Navy. Navy. According to a neighbour's testimony, Mr. Bones came to work on January the 2nd drunk. Mr. Sharp took him out of the store and they went somewhere else. During the interrogation, Mr. Bones admitted that he attacked Mr. Sharp and hid his body in the basement of a nearby house. Okay, so January 2nd, 1904. January 2nd, 1904. The Wheel of Thanatos. How do I get to the first floor? Is this the first floor? I can hear my phone vibrating. Oh my god, it is my phone making that noise. Jesus Christ. Why do I have an alarm going off on my phone? Hang on, sorry everyone, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, it's sorted. My lovely husband, Wheels, fixed it for me. Thank you, Wheels! Oh, here we go. Wheel of Thanatos. Oh my god, this is cool. Okay, so where is this? Okay, so, yeah. Okay, I know where we are. Place the victim's case on the stand. Okay. Determine the zodiac sign of the victim by using the table on the next page. During the Wheel of Thanatos, so the black arrow points to the zodiac sign. Okay. Uh, okay, so he was born July 7th, which means he's... Cancer. Okay. Black arrow points to... Ooh, okay, that's cancer. The crab. Uh, identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element described on the next page. Ooh, uh, so cancer is a water sign. The last letter of the name is N. Stop it. Chaldean table, okay. So if it's N, then it's five. Red. Oh, fuck. God damn it. It's always the one in the bathroom. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Why is it cracked? 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 Don't care. Don't want to know. Okay. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, what the frick was the thing? Here we go. Okay, so it's five. So the red arrow needs to point to five. Wait, what shit? Uh, <laughs> there we go. Red arrow points to five. Oh my god, this is intense. Key letter of the last name. So it's a water sign. 
Surname has identical letters. Oh god. No, it doesn't. If not, it's the first one, so S, which means it's three. Okay. Three. Okay. So what happened at night? Fuck off. Okay. So what happened at night? <sighs> what? What the fuck? Oh god damn it, the freaking spirits freaking customized my goddamn Thanatos wheel. God damn it. God's sake. They added a plug in that changed the freaking font. Right. Can you stop? Okay, so it was moon. Thank you, spirits. Uh, it was. T so it was midnight on the second. Midnight. Oh, so it was just midnight. Okay, cool. So he was killed at midnight. Someone's fucking with me, the things aren't done. Yeah, so wait, 12 add 0 is 24, so it did happen at midnight, right? Thank you, Marcus. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so we know who's called at 12 midnight on the 2nd of January. So now, I go over here. Where were you on midnight on the 2nd of January? Oh. Where were you? Where were you? Oh, f come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop it. Suck. What just happened? Why has my vision gone all weird? Am I okay? Okay, just gonna ignore that. Right. Midnight. Midnight. Yeah, I know you were dead, but where were you dead? Okay, so where were you at 11? Is she being stupid? Is she being stupid? Is she being stupid? Is Zoe being stupid? Why is Zoe being stupid though? Oh, for fu fucking American calendars. I swear to God. Ugh. Okay, don't yell at me. I know chat is delayed. Right, so where were you? Where did you die? Come on. Where did you die? Stupid American calendar's pain in my fucking life. You were here. And you. Okay, so that he's in the sixth. Six Meadow Street. Six Meadow Street. Six Meadow Street. Chat, it's fine, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, six Meadow Street. Okay. Tick. Ah, perfect. I'm just not going to look at chat until it's been like a minute after I make a mistake and then I feel better at myself. Incoherent backseat gaming. American calendars, dude. Okay. 
We checked the place you indicated and found the body, so our new friend agreed to tell us about his work with our grandma. We're finally calling her grandma. That's real progress. Well done. Previously, she was often approached by local officers, and she helped them without any charge. It all ended because of the last case. She's found for them one particularly brutal gang, but they were released because of the personal order of Judge Brooks. Fucking Judge Brooks. The next day, all 12 criminals shot themselves twinsies they say that the last of them was muttering something before he's dead it was something about the voice of god calling them from beyond the police didn't work with that old woman after that pretty freaked out were they unsurprisingly sins of the past that wasn't a very dramatic reading of the chapter name i'd just like to apologize thank you alex it's all very nice that you're all into my hair because it's actually meant to be a lot lighter this like Targaryen silver but um, my hair just went really blonde instead so I dyed it darker. The whole city knows about this case. In 1882 smugglers on a run from the rangers hid in a house on the outskirts of a town at 1 Southway Road and killed a local shepherd and his family. The case was closed many years ago. Now part of that gang has decided to move back to our town. And burp. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, everyone. Thank you and sorry. I've already found them, and I know that almost all members of the gang were involved in the case. I don't need your help to find the guilty. On the opposite, send me the names of those who were not in that house in 1882 in the day of the murder. They will go to jail. The rest of them will go to the gallows. Objective. Send the dossiers of these gang members who did not participate in the murder. They were not at the crime scene at the hour of the murder during the massacre of 1882. Okay. Zachary. He and his family were massacred in 1882. Many of those thugs have taken influence. This year they came to the city as if they own it. Okay, so he we just know he died in 1882. Edward. He just joined the gang during that year. He was described by the witnesses as a frightened kid. Now he's one of the most brutal hired guns in the state. Jamie. One of the most violent women I've ever met. She single-handedly organised several robberies with a huge number of victims. She settled down a little and now first leaves blood on the hand of others. Jackson. He was involved in the bribing of the police and authorities in order to get his friends out of prison. BFF. He has tried to clean his reputation in recent years. Dexter. In his youth he was a womanizer but now he confesses his love only to a bottle. He lives in the pubs and drinks until he forgets. I think these are a lot of things I want to forget about. Suspicious. And Julio. The only member of the gang who's been doing the same thing all these years. He focuses on cattle stealing. Mr. Perez worked on the south so the locals don't really know him. Okay, so we need to find out where the murder took place no when the murder took place and who was there so we need to find out when our dude Zachary died and that will tell us the date of the murder okay date of the murder time here we go time to go to Thanatos Thanatos Thanathize okay uh Put you here. Right. Zodiac. So you were born May. No, May 29th. Okay. May 29th. You are a Gemini. So this Gemini is the twins. That one. Are you Gemini? 29th. May 29th. Yep. Okay, good. The key letter of the first name, Gemini, is air. Third letter of the name. Okay, so third letter because it's name. So that's C, which is three. Okay. Three. Uh, red arrow, yep. Okay, uh, key letter of the last name. Air. More than five letters in the surname. Yep. Then the key letter is the fifth one. H-A-R-R-I. And I is one. Ooh. Okay, so he died at night on the 20th of November? Night, so 14 at 4 at 12, 16. So he died at 4 o'clock on the 20th of November, right? 4 o'clock on the 20th of November. Ooh. 
four o'clock on the 20th of November. Nope, fuck, okay. God damn it. Wait, am I looking the time right? Does it want me to do it? No, because that wouldn't make sense. Okay, I've got something wrong then. Right, uh, and I'm not looking at chat because I'll tell me what I got wrong. Zodiac, May 29th. Oh, for fuck's sake. May 29th. May 29th. May 29th. May 29th. Ah, 1882. Okay. Thank you. I did look at chat. I cheated. Okay, right. <laughs> Four o'clock is dead. Okay, good. Good work, everyone. Oh my god. Why are you obsessed with me? Why are you obsessed with me? Where the fuck is the thing? Okay, shit, it's the other one. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. Oh no, it just wants me to be in this room. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Uh. I'm trying to remember, I actually got it written down. 11, 20, 18, 82. 18, 80, 20th? of November at four o'clock. God, I swear to God after EGX my brain is just not working at all. We need to find out where he was. I know the candle's gone out. We need to find out where he was and then who wasn't. Weren't there when he died. Okay. I can do that. Okay. I quite like this. It's very logical thinking. And I know I'm not the most logical of people, but um, I really enjoy how it it's not just pure scares. Like there's jump scares and stuff, but it's mainly just you trying to figure things out. Okay, where were you? Oh yeah, you were number one Southway Road, weren't you? Because that was another freaking dossier and I forgot. Okay, next let's try Edward. Where were you? Okay, so not you. Oh, shit. You were there. Jamie. You were there. Oh. Jackson. You were not there. Where were you? Were you out of town? Where were you? You were out of town. Okay, how do I mark out of town? This doesn't sound good. Oh, dude, come on. Dude. Can I mark this as a clue? No, okay. Well, I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, it won't let me mark that as out of town, so we know that. Okay. So, Jackson, Dexter. You were not there. Where were you, Dexter? Oh, for fuck's sake, you were fucking messing around with my frickin' mirror. God damn it, in the frickin' corridor. Dude. <laughs> ah, no, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. That was quicker than usual. Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry, where was I? Uh, Dexter. Where were you, Dexter? Were you out of town as well? No. Were you there? Oh, you were. Naughty boy. 
Okay, Julio. Where were you? Julio? Okay, so Julio and... Julio and Jackson. Sick. Okay, now if you could frickin' just let me do this. You stupid son of a gun. Okay. Uh, Julio and Jackson were not there. Pro. Only messed up, like, five times. Well done, we will visit them tonight. Still, it's strange that they came back here after so many years and take the risk of being executed. They're not the only ones, though. We've already arrested several wanted criminals who suddenly just showed up in our town. The new judge is tired of signing death sentences. It seems to me that we begin to attract all kinds of madmen. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I... I... <laughs> I really like this and I do want to continue, but I have an appointment at five o'clock that I need to go to. So I'm going to have to stop the stream right here. But let me know on Twitter. You can follow me at underscore Zoe Dells. Zoe underscore Del Dells. My brain is not working because of EGX. Let me know in the comments and in the chat and on Twitter if you want me to continue this. I really like Prognostic. It's... It could be deeper, but I really love the like core concept of it. I love the puzzle solving element and the mental stuff it makes you do so if you want to see me play more of this and scream more as stuff that literally isn't hurting me then please let me know um and remember on friday at 3 30 p.m i'm gonna play some solo phasmophobia and i'm shitting myself already so do join for that and then tomorrow we have a video about elden ring coming out um games you should play after you completed elden ring and then on saturday i have a video coming out about why potion permit is a disappointment because i'm very disappointed in it i'm not angry i'm just disappointed but thank you very much everyone who tuned in to watch this i will see you lovely folks on friday and i hope you have a lovely evening without things falling off mirrors and me screaming in your ear because you've had enough of that already so i'll see you on friday bye